Number three key is that we have to obey the Holy Spirit when He speaks. Our relationship with the Holy Spirit cannot really go further than our obedience to Him. You can start to have a fellowship with the Holy Spirit. You can start reading the scriptures and you can start talking to the Holy Spirit. And you can start experiencing His presence. And when that will happen, your ab abundant life will begin to bubble up. But it gets stuck on the level where you get stuck with obedience. Many people start their relationship with the Holy Spirit or start their relationship with God and they're like, I feel like I hit a plateau. I feel like it's, it's stuck. And usually I have one question. Where did you got stuck? Where he asked you something and you said, not really, not now, too hard, too ridiculous, too crazy. I can't do this. This is too much. Not for me. I gotta have to take a pause. Anytime you plateau in your obedience, you plateau in your relationship. Holy Spirit loves everyone the same, but He trusts everyone different. His love for us depends on the fact Jesus obeyed the Father on the cross. His trust in us depends on the fact we obey Him. Jesus died on a cross that's why God the Father loves everyone the same he loves me the same way he loves Annie he loves Annie the same way he loves Larissa the same way he loves Yesenia the same way he loves Olesa and loves every person in this room but the Holy Spirit will trust each one of us differently based on one criteria our obedience and you may say well that's not fair well if we actually be very honest you also trust people based on this criteria you love people the same. Well, I hope you do. I hope we do. Your parents loved all of your children the same, but if you had more than one sibling, I'm sure of one thing. Your parents did not trust all of you the same. Some of you, your parents will never trust you with their car. He would never trust you with your credit card, with their credit card. He would trust you with nothing just because of one thing. Not because you're ugly, bad, and not spiritual. Just because of one thing. You're not obedient they love you but just can't trust you holy spirit wants to trust you more and remember your relationship with him only hits a plateau if you choose to plateau in your level of obedience sometimes obedience is hard like getting baptized it's very hard for those who are not sometimes obedience is hard for those who know they need to make a step and come to the front and give their lives to Jesus like Annie was sharing for somebody like me sitting I'm like oh man why is this so hard but it's because I'm not in her shoes sometimes obedience to the Holy Spirit is hard when he asks you to go to that person that you held grudge against and you curse them you cuss them you even posted things on Facebook about them and to admit to them you were a jerk and you made a mistake that is hard sometimes you stole something from somewhere and you pray to the Lord and you feel like Holy Spirit wants you to go and tell them what you stole and you know you will have to pay it back. Next three months of salary is going to have to go there and that is really hard and sometimes the Holy Spirit will lead you. I know what I'm, what I'm talking about when the Lord will lead you just place it on your heart confirm it with God's word to do certain things. I remember when last year I felt like my relationship with the Holy Spirit plateaued. It was on my way to California, Sacramento, listening to uh, messages uh, by this person that I respect and love. And I remember thinking to myself, I'm like, God, there has to be more. I love traveling. I love going to other places. I see people saved. I meet people who get touched by our ministry. But God, I just want to see, I want to see miracles. I want to see my own spiritual life to go to another level. I want, I know there's more. And as I am thinking about the fact that I felt like I plateaued, another thought comes into this head talk to your wife and the amount of money that you get saved to put it as a de deposit for your new house give that money away and let me take your heart and just fill it with my power I was like Lord can, can there be any other way you can fill my heart with your power <laughs> I'm not sure I like the idea of doing this you know what made me pushed me to do that is the fact I wanted to go to another level with God so bad I was willing to pay any price and I come back to my wife and I said babe 
honestly it does not really matter I'm like our life first has to prosper spiritually I'm like I feel like we are prospering financially a lot faster than we are prospering spiritually I feel like spiritually I'm kind of stuck on this level and financially I'm going forward so I'm like let's just take some of the progress from here and dump it over here to see our spiritual life just kick it a little bit harder and a little bit more and I could tell you honestly that my life from that point is shifted and something happened again this year some of you know we're in the, in the process right now um, building a house and there was this at this point I really felt like you know I needed a lot of money just needed things and, and this and that and and another level came in when I felt like for next year I want my relationship with the Holy Spirit and I want to see 50 liters and one particular time when we came from Ukraine and my car was parked somewhere else's driveway and I drove by it was two o'clock in the morning I just felt this just this in my heart I can't explain it how I knew it was from the from the scriptures also not to take my car but to leave it there in the driveway and to give it away something I've never done before in my life but I felt like this will be a key for me to go to another level spiritually I am not saying in any way you can buy your relationship with God with giving money to somebody no but you cannot go to another level if you don't go to another level in obedience for some people obedience is not to go to a club this weekend for some people obedience is not to sleep with your girlfriend for some people's obedience is to marry your girlfriend for some people obedience is actually to sign up and get baptized for some people obedience is finally to open the bible some people's obedience may be actually to start giving 10 percent for some people's obedience may be to give five dollars for some people's obedience is to apologize to your mom or to your dad for some people's obedience is actually to reach out to somebody who God has been putting on your heart whatever your level of obedience is remember this if you want to go deeper it's only through obedience